So apparently Rick Cross exposes some dark secrets Drake had in his latest diss track. So we're gonna check it out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Your boy is sick, so yeah, I'm not might not have the most energy right now, but I'm pushing through it. I got my girl hoodie on, so you wondering like why the fuck this grown ass man wearing a cheetah print shit? Yeah, it's not mine. I'm sick, so I'm doing whatever. I just wear whatever that makes me feel good right now. But anyways, leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the fam, and yeah, let's get it. Despite Drake and Rick Ross having countless of Billboard hits together, it looks like they're currently in the middle of a feud that's turning really ugly really quickly. We were Fast. alerted that Drake and Rick Ross was beefing once it was reported that Rick Ross had unfollowed Drake despite the fact that Drake was still and is still following Rick Ross. In hindsight, a lot of us thought that Rick Ross unfollowed Drake because Metro Boomin asked everybody to pick a side between Future Metro and Drake's beef. That's crazy, and Rick Ross bro. picked the side of Future and Metro. But if you keep watching this video, you will find out that we were horribly wrong. And that's not the reason why Rick Ross unfollowed Drake. Drake will fire back at Rick Ross on following him and picking a side. By going after Rick Ross' very recent ex-girlfriend, Christina Mackey, Drake will inv Bro, why Drake always go for the females, bro? I swear to God, like, Drake is the most pettiest motherfucker there is, bro. As soon as you get beef with Drake, bro, he going for all your exes, all your baby mamas, every, your high school crush, your middle school crush, bro. He going after everybody you know. <laughs> he going after everybody you know. God damn invite Christina Mackey to one of his tour dates and she would oblige and come and not only just come but she would also post and brag about being invited on Instagram if you know anything about Drake and his strategy when it comes to war he's not a shooter he's not a criminal he's not a tough guy he's not gonna murder you even though some people would dispute that fact but he's gonna stuff his love muscle in the woman you love that's Drake's Facts. war strategy See, that's how he punish you. you and get back the disrespect <laughs> He's going to push his love muscle in the woman you love's vagina. All right. So hey, yo, love muscle, bro. What you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? Love muscle. In the case of Rick Ross and Christina Mackey, it was a public relationship. It's a very recent breakup. Drake thought he could hurt Rick Ross, man, by getting at her. And she's a goer, right? Because she went. You feel me, bro? This chick went to that concert, posted up their receipts, and was happy about going, too. Jeez. Now, it was pretty quiet after that. Rick Ross nor Drake never really, you know, addressed each other. And then the silence got broken after today when Drake sent shots at Rick Ross on a recent diss track that he dropped. Bro, this in all his opposition. To be honest, I didn't even know that that was actual shots at, um, at Rick Ross. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I had no idea, bro. This raw game has so many, like little like clues and hints to like this and like to connect bro just call the name of the person you're dissing bro like just call the names i don't need clues i don't need little name i don't need nicknames i don't need like bro let's say who you dissing bro like be straightforward niggas really got me out here rapping what i'm living i might take it latest girl a couple like on wiki can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50 every song that made it on a chart he got from jizzy spin that little chick you gotta stay about my business nigga. drake took direct mm. shots at rick ross uh he played on the officer ricky accusations accusing rick ross of being a correctional officer by saying cuffer like officer ricky and also said like he can't believe that rick ross hopped into his and Metro Boomin's beef, <laughs> especially because Rick Ross is 50 years old. And most 50 years Shit. old stay out of beef and Wait, stay out of Wait, Rick drama. Ross is 50? Now, God it looks damn. like Rick Ross responded back fairly quickly, and he had some accusations and disses to get off against Drake. So let's check it out. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. So, of course, the first. Bro, once in a while, Red Cross, right? Even in a diss truck, this man is so smooth as hell. Like, once, like, when he's one of those rapper, right? You just want to, like, smoke a cigar or just smoke something and just chill and it's like, you feel me? Like, vibe out. Like, he never on a hostile, like, you feel me? He does a smooth dude, bro. <laughs> First thing that Rick Ross get at Drake over is the ghostwriting rumors. I feel like at this point, the ghostwriting rumors are a thing that nobody cares about anymore. I think it's true. It, and it sucks that Personally. Drake has to go through it. So, like, 
it can no longer be a point. Because let's be honest here, bro. Like, the quote-unquote reference tracks and ghostwriting, especially when it comes to Drake, isn't what we consider ghostwriting. Like, if there are reference tracks for melodies, like, oh, my God, if I die, I'm a legend, like, <laughs> or the Rico track, like, those are melodic songs. Those are melodies, right? Those are not bars. Those are not pen to paper, boom, bap, rapping about my life story. So if Ooh, those are not reference tracks or bars for his life story or actual raps and bars, then how do we count that as ghostwriting? I'm, I'm sorry. I thought like artists were True. allowed to have you know help when it comes to melodies, right? Again, Drake is an R&B artist. Drake is a pop star and a rapper. I thought R&B artists and pop stars are allowed to have ghostwriters for the melodies and the songs. As long as you don't have ghostwriters for your pen and your bars and your life. I long as they don't have a ghostwriter for your entire song, bro. Like, if you have someone, like, pitching, like, a word here and they, there, or have someone, like, hey, why don't you switch this word with that word out? Because that's still, you could still get credit for doing that. You feel me? So, yeah. So, I see nothing wrong in that, though. Like, well, if you, like, buying a whole song or a whole, like, verse, then, yeah. <laughs> Life story. That should be okay. So I feel like Drake totally defeated those ghostwriting rumors, but Rick Ross continued with more. Pop a perk for the feel. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Mm. Niggas speaking they reckless when we speaking directly. Mm. If we give any gangsters, when you see me, you check me. Obviously, another shot at Drake. Drake dropped. Rick Ross said niggas leaking their records, not even speaking directly. Bitch, move. That's what I'm saying, bro. They don't even Rick Ross saying what I'm saying. Like, they're not speaking directly, bro. Just say the name. Stop beating around the bush, bro. Like, stop. I ain't trying to sit here and connect clues and all of this. Bro, we're grown adults, bro. I got shit to do. Just let me know who you're talking about, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> Off the diss record against Kendrick Lamar and others this morning. But that's the thing. We don't know if Drake dropped it or not. Because the record sort of just started floating all across it's social real. media. And people were questioning if the record was AI or not. A lot of people thought it was AI. Others thought it was real. And we didn't get the confirmation it was a real diss record against Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick. I knew it was real because I was watching academics when um academics actually receive it. And academics was the only person to receive it at the time. Uh, Rick Ross and others until Drake sent academics the finished track and See? he leaked it on his stream. So... That's where Rick Ross taking a shot at, right? Rick Ross believes that Drake is the one who leaked that record, you know, and he believes that leaking a diss record just to gauge how people feel about it is kind of soft because I truly believe, though, that if the fans would have reacted in a negative manner to the diss track, bro, like, <laughs> Drake would have pretended Ooh. like that diss track was AI. I didn't even thought about it like that. That's smart. Release it anonymous, you know, anonymously, no one knows, A. Hey, is it real or is it fake? You see the reviews. You see you get a lot of, you know, people feeling it. People, all right, cool. Yeah, it's real. But if people hate it. Oh, no. Shit, that's AI. That was not me. Like, that's smart. That's smart. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me because the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't want to push me. I'm like, really, Woody? Like his moves. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copy mm. and paste. Wheezy gave you the juice. Another white boy had to park one and hang with the crew. So there's Damn. two parts to this bar. The first part, calling Drake a white boy. Now, I kind of understand the strategy, but I don't understand the approach. All right. Now, you could have definitely attacked Drake's, I guess, credibility and, it's Rick Ross, and bro. claim to the culture, right? So essentially, him calling Drake white boy is saying Drake is not from the culture. Drake is from, like, Canada somewhere, a white mama, bro. His, li his lived experience is white culture. He's, right? So I understand that or trying to discredit Drake's claim to the culture and saying, bro, you can't really have the throne as the greatest rapper of all time or the greatest or the king of this particular culture that belongs to us. You know, because you're not from here. But calling him a white boy sort of puts a lot of people off because clearly Drake is not white. He's black. He's mixed with black. All right. So I feel like Rick Ross could have done this a little bit more strategically. Uh, and then he says that Drake's flow is copy and paste. Now, I'll be real, bro. Uh, now, listen, Drake is somebody who who has been able to stay relevant this long. Because Facts. Drake has been able to spot the <laughs> wave really early and hop on the wave super early. 
and ride it, right, and make it his own. Now, am I going to say that Drake ain't never stole a flow? I mean, listen, XSX Temptation Yawn, bro, already put us on, right? So I won't say Drake ain't never stole a flow, right? But I will also say, bro. And what happened to him? I'm just saying. Bro, Drake has created and pioneered a lot of other flows and styles of music that a lot of people done hopped on, right? Without Drake, without Take Care, now, again, you know, we can debate back and forth on who to credit. Do we credit The Weeknd, Drake, or Party Next Door? I'm going to give it to Drake, all right? And take Care, right? Pioneer the sound. Without Take Care, we wouldn't have a Bryson Tiller. We wouldn't have a Rod Wave, a PNB Rock, right? Facts. So I feel like Drake, his style of music, you know, is what was innovative. It pioneered a sound, and he is very influential within his own right. Pulitzer Prize winner switching up like Dyer Denim Getting sentence for all the killings while we ride rentals Look me right in my face, he beginning to shake Told you niggas stay scheming, I predicted my fate Got more mm. money than you, fuck you want me to say 50 mils for the crib, where you want me to stay I I'm sorry Rick Ross I got bitches to pay, let you DM my hoes But got bitches you can't, let you get on my songs It was good for your face, now mm. bitch nigga is home And no room for debate I'm a fan of sticking up for yourself just as much as the next you man, don't have right? more money than we drake can't though lie here man like we more money than drake lie bro here now bro like or you can't lie so obviously that we know it's a lie right rick ross doesn't have you know as much money as drake rick Facts. ross doesn't live better than drake right rick ross isn't richer than drake so i don't think flossing <laughs> cars houses or money with drake is the right move here bro drake obviously has more money than rick bro Bro, I'm trying to bro going ban for ban against a Drew is a dead sentence, bro. Ban for ban against a Drew, that's an automatic L off the rip, off the rip. Now, saying that Drake, you know, DM some of your hoes is cool, but saying that like, they, you know, you got women in your life that he can't pull, like I'll beg a different here, bro. I'm sorry, <laughs> Maybe I'm just somebody who, you know, have very. <laughs> Little to no faith, you know, in Instagram models and baddies these dudes go after. But I don't think Rick Rawls has access to any IG model that Drake can bag. I'm sorry. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. Mm. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. This is where Damn. a surprising level of gossiping started taking place. Now, I love the gossip, right? Trust me, I'm messy, but he I didn't know no that job. gangsters gossip or gangsters thought gossiping was cool. So Rick Ross began to spill the quote-unquote tea on Drake. Now, he claims that Drake doesn't want to be black, that Drake hates, you know, his black features, and that Drake got surgery on his nose to make it look more like a white man, right? So essentially, Drake imitated Michael Jackson because Drake <laughs> didn't want to look like his father. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to this because when you look at before and after pictures of Drake's nose, it doesn't really appear there's any difference. Like, I don't see any huge difference between Drake nose prior and Drake nose right now. So I don't know where Rick Rose is getting seen. the surgery claims from. Now, to be honest, though, this is like the second or third time somebody has called Drake Michael Jackson. You know, like Kendrick Lamar just said, Prince outlived Michael Jack, right? He was Prince and Drake was Michael Jackson. Now, I'm sure the metaphor has nothing to do with like the physical the nose, um, yeah. characteristics, but nonetheless, though, that's just kind of interesting and odd. I don't follow you, nigga, because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. You sent the Bruh. police, nigga, hating on my dog project. That wasn't the same Damn. way I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing nigga so fucking stunning your life, nigga. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. Get rap a lot some more money, nigga. White boy. Yeah. Biggest. It's Rose, nigga. We can do it how you want to do it, where you want to do it, anytime you want to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I'm ready. <laughs> you got your doctors on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack going. That's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. Ooh. So despite the fact he that we all surgery? thought that Rick Ross wasn't messing with Drake because he picked Metro Boom and the Future Side, that was not the case. Apparently, French Montana had a song with Drake on his album, 
and Drake was like, sir, like your rap career then fell off severely, bro. You not having me on your album that's about to flop, bro. I'm not doing it. I'm not about to be on no album that's going to flop. Damn. So Drake sent a cease and desist and refused to clear the record. So Rick Ross, you know, who's in business with French Montana, got pissed off. And that's why he unfollowed Drake, apparently, right? Now, he also makes the money, bro. such as Drake got ab surgery, which at this point has been a rumor that's been out there for so long that people are, are just taking it as fact and just running with it. Again, we still don't know why or or where the like, rumor who came cares, from, bro. bro. But apparently, Drake's abs. I'm not gonna show it, bro, because I'm not, no Diddy. But Drake abs <laughs> no apparently diddy. like it has like the markings of liposuction. And, and, yeah, yeah. When people feel like Drake had got abs surgery, man, I don't know, man. Now I'm gonna say this: I don't feel like Drake should respond back to this, bro. I feel like Drake dropped clearly the better record. Drake is going to everybody. I feel like the only person that Drake should respond to at this point is Kendrick Lamar. If Rick Ross wanted, you know, diss you, cool. <laughs> right? Like, if the week... No, he gotta respond. You can't cool, have... <laughs> right? Like, let them all diss you, right? It, bro, if Metro want to diss you, cool. If Future want to diss you, cool. But the only person Drake should respond to right now is Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, to me, is on hmm. the block. If he don't drop soon, we're gonna start wondering, bro. Like, damn, bro. Like, yo, what you scared of? What you scared of, homie? I mean, Kendrick do take a couple if of years. Don't drop, so we gonna start wondering what you scared of. He ain't scared. He just right? it just take time. You've been threatening, <laughs> you got this super potent nuclear district against Drake right now for years now. What, like you scared of dropping it? So yeah, if I'm Drake, don't fall for the bait. Only respond back to Kendrick, man. Y'all let me know in the comment Facts. section if you're still watching. Click on this video. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.